Hi everyone, this is Sophia again, and today we're gonna continue watching The God of High School, episode 6. And I'm pretty excited about the next journey of this anime because we have finished the preliminary round of this whole battleground and what's gonna happen in the next stage, basically. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, my voice is kind of cracking. <laughs> Lately, I've been really, really sick, but yeah, we're just gonna have to dive in straight into this episode in 3, 2, 1. Yare. Jin Tejin, wasn't that Mori's grandfather? Wait a fucking minute. Hey, champion boy. You look pretty exhausted. Wait, what? Fear. Okay. <laughs> okay, girl, you do you. Ah, so it's a team competition. So they're g still gonna fight together. I was about to throw hands if this is like the end of Terry and Mira's journey in fighting, but. Oh no, reverse card! <laughs> Turned out to be a team tournament after this. We love and respect girls in this house. You, me, yeah! He really is a dumb idiot, but I love him so much. I mean, what are the odds? Like, the three of them are friends, and now they're advancing together in the tournament. Like, that is like the best thing that you could ask for. Ah. Uh, so they called the secret organization, they called Nox. Who the heck is the six? I'm so confused. There are so much things to process. Oh, Taki, I want one. The three of them are so adorable. I can't believe he's that the type of main character. I can't believe that. I think they're being followed. And Mori notices that. I mean, he is really perceptive so far. Mm. So this is the six that they've been talking about before. Wow! Wow! Hey! Oh, that is really terrifying. His grandfather is still alive. I thought he already passed away. Did he just beat them by himself? What the heck? What kind of power did he possess?
Wow, wow, wow! I really do underestimate the scale of this anime. I really do underestimate it. them, but now. I know not whose child it is. It existed before God. Like what? Eh? Eh? Wow. Then how did he realize this? that that was Mira? That's kind of cool. Yes. You tell her, sir. You tell her. Ooh, that gaze, though. He has the eyes of the man. I mean... <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> His imagination? Never failed to amaze me. <laughs> that is quite an epic first entrance. Wait. So we're entering the training arc, if you will. So they're going to train with their respective master. Right? Wow. That is hella creepy. He's so adorable. <gasps> wow, that is so cool. That's extremely cool. I am so in love with that man. I would risk anything for him. Wait, this voice? Wasn't it the one from the opening before? <laughs> There's no way. There is no way. So, the six is actually a secret organization. I thought. He also, he's also the six as well, and he's a tiger cop. I mean, oh, this is getting real interesting. I feel like Mori's gonna bring so much trouble to this team. Oh. <gasps> That girl with a parasol? I immediately fell in love. Huh? Huh? So this one... This announcer is not the real announcer. They killed the previous announcer. What the heck? Holy shit, that green haired dude? No fucking way, he was my favorite. What the heck? Yeah, so that was the God of High School episode 6. And personally, I really, really like this episode because they unpack quite a quite a lot of things but they also planted some important questions in our mind and still keeping us curious for the next episodes to come if that makes sense and yeah like i said before there are a lot of things that already unpacked in this episode the first one being 
Morris' grandfather is actually still alive. I am really embarrassed to admit to admit this, but I thought he was already dead. The first time I saw the first episode, I thought he was already dead, and I'm really sorry, sir. And then the second one, the cult itself, the name of the cult was Knox, and it was some kind of a secret organization, and they kind of infiltrate this tournament. Not sure the motive so far, I'm not really sure, but yeah. That's fact number two. And then there's also this secret organization called The Six. And I thought The Six was going to be a person, like a single name. But seems like it is a secret organization. And to my surprise, Mujin is also one of the six. And... His code name was Tiger Cup, and we remember that he kept referring Tiger Cup to Mori and even Dewi before. So that's gonna be real interesting to know the development of this the six. And oh, 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 the chariot, chariot, the chakra. Um. So that godly creature that thing that came out from a person before was called charok and so basically a charok is a person that borrowed the power or possess the power of the gods and yeah that could be the name of the person of or the name of the act itself possessing the energy from the god it's either those two. And I think not everyone could do that. And one of them must be the commissioner Q, that green haired dude. Like, dang, I was totally in love with that man, but they just killed him like that. And I'm assuming since not everyone could possess or could do this chart thing, one of the way to make this ability your own, you gotta kill the person with that ability before. That's why this man killed you. I'm not really sure, but seems like that. And oh, also that um, that announcer is already dead, like, but yeah, so basically the Nox successfully infiltrate the system, the God of High School tournament system, and the fun is about to begin. I thought we were going to have some kind of a um, training arc or something, since... Mori already met the six, the doctor, and Mira kind of ha- met this person who mastered the Moonlight Sword art, but since he is gone already right now, I'm not really sure if we are going to, I'm not really sure if we are going into the training arc soon yeah i'm just hoping that we are going to have those training arc it would be really cool it would be really cool to see and yeah just getting really interesting and i'm looking forward to what's gonna happen in the future so see you again in my next video bye